Hey, Shalom, we give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem, Shai, double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone. Peace and Shalom to the elect that's pushing out this word throughout the four corners of the globe. It's your brother Shema Moff from the DC camp. Shalom to you. Hope you're in good spirits. Uh, wow, what a week. Um, I wanted to bring out a few scriptures and little thoughts um, about uh, the things that's going on in Israel. Uh, and around Israel, um, we had did, uh, we did a sit down, the Akim head brothers in DC did a sit down last week about this woman and her so-called, uh, white looking, uh, counterpart in a video. And she was talking reckless. She was talking real reckless about brothers of a of her own nation how they not worthless uh how they not worth anything they worthless um who would follow a man who's been under 500 years of subjection real reckless so um, um in proverbs and i'm gonna read it in proverbs you know there was a woman who wasn't like that she was not reckless um if if it's not a real woman that doesn't understand, if there's not a woman that doesn't understand that reckless to her own men of a nation, of, of her own people, destroys and separates us one from another. Um, some women are reckless and had given up because of the curses that the men of her nation are under and they would just give up on him because uh, of the heaviness of uh, that's on her where she doesn't receive what she believes she should have. We give up this uh, title, this title that I'm about to present is called uh, give not thy strength unto women because when she's reckless against the men of her own nation, when the strength of a nation is the man, where he needs to be lifted up in every aspect because of the heaviness that he's under by being the one who is responsible for his nation. So why put more burdens on him? We don't give our strength to women because women are really fickle. They, they live according to how they want to feel um, instead of looking at the whole, I'm not saying all women, but women want to live in their feelings instead of dealing with what's wrong and why we feel the way we do at that time if it's heavy on your heart. This is Proverbs 31. We'll start at the top. The words of King Lu Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. Really important. His mother taught him prophecy. She spoke before things happened. What did she say? What, my son, is the question. What? And what, the son of my womb? And what? the son of my vows. What, my son? What's going on, my son? Why, my son? The one who came from my womb. What's going on? Is what the mother asks. Well, first thing she says and prophesied about, give not thy strength to women, nor the ways that which destroy kings. Heavy statement. So you have to think about that. What does she mean? Read on. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink. Least they drink because if they drink and forget the law of Yahweh Shemel Shai and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted, 
If you're a king, you're supposed to be in some type of way. You're supposed to have some type of law and standard. His mother said, give not thyself to strong drink. It's not for kings. It may blind you. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish. This is what she's saying. Give them who are ready to perish strong drink. But it's not for you because you need to make judgments and have a clear conscience in mind. It says, And wine unto those that be of a heavy heart. King shouldn't be of a heavy heart because he needs to make decisions for the people. This is his mother. She says, open thy mouth for the dumb in the cause of all such as appointed. I'm sorry. Go back. Let him drink and forget his poverty, the ones with the heavy heart, and remember his misery no more. Open thy mouth for the dumb and the cause of all are such appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously. This is what a king need to do. Have a clear mind, clear conscience, so he could judge righteously. Wine also could represent philosophies and ways of life. Cultures that's not yours that you take on and it perverts your judgment. My son, listen to the words. It says, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous woman? Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband do safely trust in her so that he have no need of spoil. She would do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ship that bringeth her food from afar. She rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth the field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands, she planted a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth out, not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle and her work hold to the staff. She stretches out her hand to the poor, yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. We are in need. We are sick and broken, no homes, no substance. This virtuous woman, where is she? Where is she? Really, who is she? It says, she is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Is she really talking about someone who's is this scripture really talking about a woman who's making garments, keeping snow off a house, preparing food? Is it really talking about a woman? What woman? What is this woman? What is this virtual woman that you seek? Strength and honor are her clothing. And she rejoiced in the time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of a household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children rise up, 
and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou exceedest them all, but thou exceedest them all. This is why it's important to understand the depth of the scriptures spiritually. Sometimes it's difficult. You would think she's talking about a woman who's like Big Mom, did everything. Wonder Woman. She, she made food on Sunday. She, she invited you over. She had the best uh, blankets on her. She, she crocheted and she knitted. She made you a scarf in the wintertime, a sweater. You think she's talking, you, you think this talking about a woman who does like Big Ma did? No, it's talking about these scriptures. It's talking about the wisdom that Yahweh Shemel Shai provides for you. The wisdom of Yahweh Shemel Shai is the virtuous woman. The scriptures is the one that wipe your nose, make sure you wear your rubber boots in the rain. Gave you the umbrella and the poncho. Made sure you did your homework and was fed, had a plate every night. That woman is the scriptures that comfort you when you're sick, that comfort you when you was in need, that gave you wisdom. This is this word. Don't give your strength to a woman. Give your strength Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord shall be praised. Give her fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gate. When the scriptures say, give not thy strength. Strength is your might, efficiency, wealth, armor, ability, and force. You don't give all of that virileness, that masculinity to any old thing. You just don't. It's not good for your spirit. It's not good for your livelihood. You lose. But when you give yourself and submit yourself to Yahweh Shemi Ashai's word and his wisdom and his woman, and his jewels, that makes you more mighty and more strengthened and more of a man. Proverbs 5 and 7. Hear me now, therefore, ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy way far from her, and come not near to the door of her house, lest thou give thy honor unto others. This is your strength. Your honor is your strength. It, everything about you, you must be honorable. Your honorable, your honor must stand up. It must speak for you. It says, and thy years unto the cruel. These strangers be filled with thy wealth and thy labor be in the house of a stranger. All that we do is in the house of a stranger. We live in with the leftovers, not the firsts. The first is given to them. Remember your check that you received? Could be direct deposit. Guess what? Someone got theirs first before you got yours. You worked, but they got their cut first. That's some oppression for your ass. Think about that. Someone you don't even know get theirs first. We know the Lord. We know Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai being His only begotten Son, the one they call Jesus, who died on the cross. We know them, but we're not giving to them first. It says, let strangers be filled with thy wealth, and thy labors be in the house of a stranger. And thou mourn at the last, 
when thy flesh and thy body are consumed. This is all we get left. You see the bodies that we live in? This is what's left? Really? And say, how have I hated instruction and my heart despised reproof and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, which is this word, which is this woman, the true woman, nor incline my ear to them that instructed me. I have almost, I was almost in an all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly. Read that again. I was almost in all evil in the congregation and assembly, having nothing left. This is what's given when you depart from the ways of the Lord. You don't have anything left. It's nothing. You are just a bag of bones. Come to the true woman, the true virtuous woman, so she can feed you, clothe you, give merchandise to you, put that candle so you can always see your way home. That's what a virtuous woman does. But you, when you depart, you give all that you give to someone else. Nothing comes back to you but what we see in our bodies today. Broken, heart hurts, knees ache, feet hurt, eyes, behind the eyes, all of a sudden you got pain behind your eyes. You can't see. You broke it. You break down. The woman strengthens your arm, it says. It builds you up. It gives you fruit in due season. It plants a, vine a vineyard. Read on, it says, drink waters out of thy own cistern, your own wells, and running waters out of thy own well. Running waters, not still, stale, still water. Alkaline water, which is spirit, which is truth. Let thy fountains be dispersed abroad and rivers of water in the streets. What you display, how you live in. What you given because of this woman, what she has given you. You give back all the things that you received from her to another that is in need. To another that's in need. We got brothers out here thirsty. We got people famished. Don't have a clothes on their back. Remember, we're not talking about this. We talking about spirit. We talking about ways of being more fruitful. A lot of people have a lot of questions and they're not getting answers. Why are we living this way? Why is this condition we live in don't feel good? Because we left our well. We left our holy place. We left our tabernacle. We left the law, statutes, and commandments that was right for us, that would give us all the things that we need. But we always sought the things that we want. Give not your strength to women, meaning other doctrines and ways and societies. That's not ours. We give. We show. We tell. Of our own. Virtuous woman. Which is the law, statutes, commandments. And faith in Yahweh Shai. Who the world calls Jesus. Faith in him. Because he made a promise. He don't. 
He don't disavow his promise. He does not go against what he had promised to us, to the nation of Israel, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the elect of them in these times. He does not go back in what he has promised to us. This is why we drink out our own wells and our own cisterns. You seeking uh, replenishment from other ways of life. This is not good for us. You give that to those who are ready to perish. But we want life. We give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace of Shalom to the elect, to uh, those who are pushing this word in sincerity and the truth for the edification of the house of Dawah Da. We do these lessons. Hopefully it was edifying. Until next time, we say peace and shalom.